Hi there, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today we are into exercise number 32. In case you are new to our channel, let me tell you how our contents are helping subscribers to get a job. And here are a couple of messages which I have received. Also, how you can take maximum benefit of our channel. So if you want to take maximum benefit, please visit the channel homepage. Click on the videos and the playlist section on the channel homepage where you would find hundreds of videos and contents which are organized in chapter wise manner and you can take benefit of those. Now let's get back to our exercise and understand what is the exercise for today. So here is the table given to you which has got the product ID and the product names. Okay, simple table which you can design in an Excel file and your task is Designer, first of all, you design a simple input Excel file as shown in the figure. And after once you are done with that, you have to design a workflow which will ask user to enter a product ID number. So you will provide an input dialog box and ask user enter the product ID number. The moment he enters the product ID number, there will be two conditions. One is if the product ID is found, if it is in that if, if that product ID is available in the table, then it should show the product name. Okay, so it is showing me the product name as whatever the product name is. If the product ID is not found, possible that per, you know person would enter something wrong, right? Some other number he might enter. If he enters anything which is not listed in this Excel file, if he enters anything out of box, then it should show him a message: no such product ID is available in our records. Okay, some message it should show stating that ID is not available. Okay, pretty simple exercise. Um, all you need to have knowledge about let me give the clue did you get the answer yeah so the answer is you have to use the lookup data table activity okay pretty simple exercise uh, but again you should be knowing which activity is required so I'm, I've given a clue so start designing um, and understand how, how you can do it pause the video here start do it do it on your own and then see if you could do it and then you can watch my video in case you are not aware how to use the lookup table then please continue with me and once you have completed this exercise please do mark yes and click on the subscribe for more such contents if you are a new visitor to our channel okay so with that let's get back to studio and get started so first thing i need is a input dialog box let me drag and drop the input dialog box and here i will ask enter the product ID and then here I can control plus K and I can see user input okay I'm creating a variable called user input which is going to store that product ID number pretty simple and then I wanted to read that Excel file isn't it so first of all you have I hope you have already created a simple Excel file why I'm giving this simple examples because your concept is going to remain the same just that the numbers data would vary uh, it will be more practical data but again your concept should be there you should know how to do it right so it should be easy for you to even design an input form so I'm taking very simple examples okay so this is the data um, all I have to do is point this out the test file okay and then sheet one and I want to read the entire range and very simple let me store this in dt1 data table done okay now after this what i have to do is i will use something called lookup data table activity okay so lookup data table activity how to use it first of all it will ask you where you want to look right so what is the data table name dt1 wherever you want to search that particular data so i want to search in dt1 lookup value so what you should first search you should look for the id product id then it should find the admin set column value so it should it should look for the product id first right whatever is the user is entering it should search for that product id where it is available so uh, here the lookup value is product id so i will copy paste the entire column name and sorry the, uh, the lookup column is product id getting it and the lookup value what is the lookup value whatever the user has entered it is stored in the user input right so it should look for that value so the value it should look for is user input and where it should look in the product id column is this part is clear first is data table which data table 
what it should look which is there in the user input variable and then in which column it is available so you are defining all that in the properties okay and then um, so once it finds that product id let's say the user has entered uh, 1006 right 10006 so if he enters this id it will find in the product id so once it finds it then target column so there could be multiple columns in your excel file so which column data you want to pull so i want to pull the product name column so i will mention this getting it is the this two parts should be very very clear first part is you telling which data table wh what value and which column that value it should search okay once this part is clear second part once it finds that particular uh, value which column you want to pull so in your excel it is highly possible you might have multiple columns so i want to only pull the values inside this product name so if if the product id is found here then it should find the value in the product name column getting it okay so once it finds the value let's say it found the value f where you want to store it i want to store it control plus k in the output variable simple this lookup data table simple okay so once this is done right possible if user is entering something wrong outside of the box he is entering some other number then the output will be nothing it will be blank so i am mentioning if output is nothing then show him a message box stating the product id which you have entered is not found in our records for that let me write it so here i will write the product id the product id whatever he has mentioned is not found in our records so if, if i am using then i will put a comma and this product id will be there initially in the user input variable so i am mentioning that and then i will put the bracket and i will say string dot format you can write it in the beginning itself string dot format and then this is the syntax okay string dot format the user uh, the product id 0 is not found in our records comma um, string okay done so this is your syntax and once you are done click on okay and let me copy paste this one over here so here string dot format the product id 0 is is for is for the product name uh, so i will mention here one and uh, in the curly braces we will mention one and i'm going to put both the values so how will you do it comma the first value zero is there in user input and uh, the second value which is there in your output okay so both of this containing i'll close the bracket and our syntax is done fine so we are done with entire formatting now let's run it and see because I am using a workbook activity. Let me just save it and close it and let's run it. Okay, first thing it is asking me enter the product ID. So let me enter 1000, uh, let's say 5, 10,005. So the product ID 10,005 is for the product name E. Let's verify that. So it should be correct. So it is working. Uh, 1,005 it is for the product E. Okay. What if I enter something, something which is not there? So let me enter a wrong product ID number. 20,000. Okay. Something I'm entering. Okay. Click on okay. The product id is not found in our records getting it so this is a very simple workflow but again will be pretty useful in practical projects so thank you so much for watching this video and um, everything that you are learning new please make a note of that
please make a note how you have used used it what is the syntax you have learned newly all of it continue to make a note because um, it is going to help you a lot i'm telling you for your interviews so today's your interview so you can just go through all the pages uh, read all the syntaxes that you have learned i'm pretty sure by going through all of it you are going to do well in your interview thank you so much for watching we'll connect again in our next video have a good day bye bye